Hi there. So in this tutorial, I'm going to discuss spreadsheet range. For this, I'm using a Zoho spreadsheet. So what we are going to discuss here right now is each of the sale in a spreadsheet uh, has a particular range. And for performing some of the mathematical operations, we can make use of this range feature. What range feature does is so let's say if you want to count from 1 to 10 and one spreadsheet to do the operation all you have to do is select these two cells and then drag it up to the cell you want okay so you will find that it's counting up to the cell that you have selected so this is how the range calculation perform automatically now what if you want to fill up with the uh, even numbers let's say 2 in one cell 4 in another let's select these two cells and drag it up to the 12 cell you'll find that all the even numbers are added here what if you want to do with the odd numbers so let's do that as well one three now select these two cells and now drag it up to the cell you want you will find that it has also done the range calculation for odd numbers this is not limited to just numbers you can do that for date as well let's type one date let's say one is the month then the date is 12 and then 2015 next date is 1 uh, 13 2015 okay now let's select these two dates and drag it up to let's say 14 cell you'll find that the rest of the dates are added now what if you want to do like say a date in word and number let's say 16th May 17th May and you want to select these two okay and want to take up to the next few dates okay so what it is doing it, it is just changing the places of these dead so in order to get it for exact correct way you have to specifically sp specify it's not just a word and it is date so that's how it works for dates and the numbers like I shown you for counting 1 to 10 or say 1 to 100 or for even odd and even numbers so that is pretty much how the range in spreadsheet works this works for google spreadsheet and also for microsoft excel so i hope you have found this tutorial helpful and i will see you in next tutorial